Hi Leo, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Leo. Thank you Lord God for blessing Leo with a clear, concise message from you. Alright, let's see what's going on for you this week Leo. First card is the Ten of Wands. Okay. And what else do we have for Leo? What's the advice for Leo? Advice. What's the advice for Leo? Two cards. The Chariot, the Ace of Cups. And the outcome. Right. outcome. The outcome. Outcome. The Queen of Pentacles. Okay. All right. So some of you have been doing some hard work, some laboring. Okay. Um, Something in your relationship needs to be examined also, okay, with the Ten of Wands. Um, something needs to be looked at. The two of, if you're in a relationship, the two of you may not have time for each other due to work. It may have nothing to do with the fact, you know, that it's not a personal issue. Um, it could just be a, a job-related or work-related issue here. The Ten of Wands talks about victimization also and, and you know cracking under the, the own uh the weight of your own success, being so successful that you know it, it has become burdensome at this point. There could be a lot of on the road travel, driving. I'm trying to keep something um together it could be a relationship it could be a marriage it could be a business um you're coming out as the underdog as as um victorious winning because you're deciding to go in a new positive direction some of you understand that maybe some relationship was a lesson maybe even karmic in a sense where you had to learn the lesson and now you decided to move away from that Put more self-love, care into your life. Um, some of you just deciding to re reinvent yourself, present yourself differently to the world. It could be in business matters also. It could be that you are kind of um, branding yourself, if you will. We're trying to create a brand. The outcome is the Queen of Pentacles. Um, so you're concerned about your body, your health, your wealth, your home. Some of you, this will be like a move. You're going to move. It's a fast move, too. You're moving a lot of stuff. It could be like a, a literal home move. It could be an upgrade, more luxury or luxurious uh, place of living. With the Queen of Pentacles there. Some of you are the working mother. You're trying to figure out how to bring in more money. The queens are the doers of the tarot. So you're trying to find ways to create more opportunity, more money. Um, to have more abundance, to be lavish. You're using your platform or yourself or how you look or your beauty or fashion or something of that nature to... Um, bring about opportunities that will bring currency, that will bring tangible results. So you're doing a lot of work. Some of you may already be in a relationship, in a commitment, in a marriage. I mean, there are grandchildren, there are great-grands. 
um that's how long you've been in this connection here or this is what you moved away from you knew that someone was in that they were already married or already solid stable they were also committed to their empire their legacy they may have nothing in common with their person but they did not have the idea or the the notion of leaving this person so maybe you had to you had to put it down you had to leave it alone there was some karmic lesson to be learned here and it is always to put yourself first to go after your own aspirations some of you were being too passive in business aspirations relationship just in how you dealt with other people also some people were expecting you to fail to not succeed but you kept your plans to yourself and then you executed you got some great inspiration from spirit maybe about a business matter or a home or something of that nature to where um, you then put those inspiration or that inspiration into the tangible and now you're presenting it or presenting yourself or representing yourself or yeah representing yourself represent yeah okay so you may be representing yourself that's just another way to say representing so you may be once again how your your identity you may be kind of restructuring your identity some of you decided to lose weight you know the weight loss plan you're caring more for yourself, what you put in your body, what you eat, what you do, your surroundings, your home. Um, some of you are at a place of understanding that you are a good catch. You